Devri Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 17. Now it came to pass, as David sat in his house, that David said to Nathan, the prophet, Lo, I dwell in a house of cedars, but the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah remains under curtains. Then Nathan said unto David, Do all that is in your heart, for Elohim is with you. And it came to pass the same night that the word of Elohim came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell David, my servant, Thus says Yahweh, You shall not build me a house to dwell in, for I have not dwelt in a house since the day that I brought up at Yashadael unto this day, but have gone from tent to tent, and from one tabernacle to another. Wheresoever I have walked with all Yashadael, spoke I a word to eth any of the judges of Yashadael, whom I commanded to feed my people, saying, Why have ye not built me a house of cedars? Now therefore thus shall you say unto my servant David, Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, I took you from the sheepcote, even from following the sheep, that you should be ruler over my people, Yashadael. And I have been with you whithersoever you have walked, and have cut off eth all your enemies from before you, and have made you a name like the name of the great men that are in the earth. Also, I will ordain a place for my people, Yashadael, and will plant them, and they shall dwell in their place, and shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more as at the beginning. And since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people, Yashadael, Moreover, I will subdue eth all your enemies. Furthermore, I tell you that Yahuwah will build you a house. And it shall come to pass, when your days be expired, that you must go to be with your fathers, that I will raise up eth your seed after you, which shall be of your sons, and I will establish eth his kingdom. He shall build me a house, and I will establish eth his throne for ever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son, and I will not take my mercy away from him, as I took it from him that was before you. But I will settle him in my house and in my kingdom forever, and his throne shall be established forevermore. According to all these words, and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. And David the king came and sat before Yahuwah and said, Who am I, O Yahuwah Elohim, and what is my house that you have brought me hitherto? And yet this was a small thing in your eyes, O Elohim. For you have also spoken of your servant's house for a great while to come, and have regarded me according to the estate of a man of high degree, O Yahuwah Elohim. What can David speak more to you for the honor of Eth your servant? For you know Eth your servant. O Yahweh, for your servant's sake, and according to your own heart, have you done Eth all this greatness in making known Eth all these great things? O Yahweh, there is none like you, neither is there any Elohim beside you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like your people, Yashadael, whom Elohim went to redeem, to be his own people, to make you a name of greatness and terribleness by driving out nations from before your people, whom you have redeemed out of Mitzrayim. For at your people, Yashadael, did you make your own people forever. And you, Yahweh, became their Elohim. Therefore now, Yahweh, let the thing that you have spoken concerning your servant and concerning his house be established forever. And do as you have said. 
Let it even be established that your name may be magnified forever, saying, Yahweh Savaoth is the Elohai of Yahshara'el, even an Elohim to Yahshara'el. And let the house of David, your servant, be established before you. For you, O my Elohim, have hath told your servant that you will build him a house. Therefore your servant has found in his heart to pray before you. And now, Yahweh, you are Elohim and have promised this goodness unto your servant. Now, therefore, let it please you to bless at the house of your servant, that it may be before you forever. For you bless, O Yahweh, and it shall be blessed forever.